Le président, veuillez vous asseoir. The court is back in session. Reprise de l'audience. The chamber hand over the floor to the deputy international la court prosecutor to put question to this witness. You may proceed. Thank you, Mr. President. Um, Mr. Witness, I have one more subject that I want to cover with you uh, today, and that concerns the arrests of uh, some cadres from hospitals in Kramcock uh, and the Southwest Zone, and in particular, uh, the arrest of a, a woman medic from your hospital that you've testified about. Um, in interview E319.1.21 at answer 132, you provided the following uh, testimony uh, regarding the arrest of a female medic named Han from your hospital. I quote, there was a letter from the district ordering her dismissal, and then they took her out of the hospital and sent her straight to Krangtachan prison. They told me that the women had had a relationship with Takang, who was a senior Khmer Rouge cadre, end of quote. And in answer, question and answer 134, quote, Tak Kong was arrested by Pol Pot. The woman used to work with Tak Kong, and that was why she was arrested, but because she was considered one of Tak Kong's operatives, end of quote. Can you first tell the court who Tak Kong Pourriez-vous tout d'abord dire à la Chambre qui était Takang Man Takang. Answer Takang. Réponse. Was the chief of hospital Takang 22. Takang était le chef de l'hôpital 22. At the time, the woman Han was with him. À l'époque, cette femme Han était avec lui. Just to make sure I understand, Question. Je Kong sûr was the chief compris. of the Zone Hospital, Han Hospital 22, and Han was someone who used to work for Kong at that hospital. Et Do I understand correctly? Pour Kong à est -ce que bien compris? Answer, yes, that Réponse, is correct. Oui, exact. And did you see Han on the day uh, when you visited Krang Tachan to spray insecticide. Answer. I met Réponse. Han. She oui, was Han. cooking rice, Elle a small pot of rice. Cuire du riz. Elle cuire du riz. Uh, Mr. President, at this time I'd like to provide uh, to the doc, Question. to the witness, Monsieur two document, documents. Uh, E3 slash 4164 and E3 4145. Uh, these are two uh, prisoner lists from Frank Tachan that I would like to ask the witness about with your leave. Et j'aimerais poser des questions au sujet de ces listes aux témoins si vous m'y autorisez. President, you may proceed. Le président, allez-y. Mr. Witness, I've uh, given you two documents. Um, Le Monsieur the first, E3-4164, and the relevant pages here are Khmer 00079337-38, English 00973147, Four seven and French zero zero nine three seven one zero four. Uh, this is a list entitled the Brief Biographies of Cette Prisoners at Tramcock District Education Office. And I want to refer you um, to the 
uh, second and third people on the list, uh, in particular the third person on this list uh, is a female Tout named Uch Han, a 26-year-old medic ans, uh, from Trapyang Kul, who was arrested on the 23rd May of 1977, and um, the comment for Uch Han indicates um, that she was implicated in the responses of Hong and Kong. Uh, my first question to you um, is the woman uh, identified in this record as Uch Han, uh, the same person you have described who was arrested from your hospital and taken to Krang to Chan? Réponse, oui, c'était bien elle. And um, so it's clear. Uh, was Han one Question. of the uh, prisoners who survived Krang Tachan and was Soyons released? Bien clair. Cette femme, Han, a-t-elle survécu à Krang Tachan, a-t-elle été libérée? Man. Answer, yes. Réponse, oui. Do you remember when she Question. was released from vous Krang Tachan? Question, vous de la date à laquelle elle a été libérée de Krang Tachan? Answer. I did not know when she was released. Now there is a, a second um, female medic referred to in uh, both of the lists uh, that I provided to you, uh, who's um, listed next to Uch Han, um, named Vorn. Sarun. Uh, she was a 27-year-old uh, year medic from Hospital 22 uh, who was arrested on the same date as Han, the 23rd of May 1977. And the comments for both these women in both prisoner lists are the same. Um, they are both described as people who were implicated in the responses of Hong and Kong. Uh, do you remember this woman, medic uh, Vorn Sarun? Answer. I never knew this person. Mr. President, uh, with your leave, I'd like to now provide uh, to the witness a uh, document D-157.13, D-157.13, uh, which is one of the uh, documents that's been identified as a notebook from Krang Tachan, with your leave. You may proceed, uh, Mr. Copé. Uh, only a request uh, for clarification in relation to the previous document. Did I hear the prosecution say Vorn uh, Sarun? Or did I just mishear that? Because I have Rang Sarun. This is again a situation where we have multiple translations. We have two different documents. Um, uh, we have a list in which her first name is Vorn. Uh, we have uh, notes uh, of her interrogation in which she's identified as Vorn. Uh, so there are about four or five different references to this individual in the various Krang Tachan records. Uh, the reference as wrong is the only one out of, out of many references. Um, so uh, we're, we're happy to refer this again to the CMS people, um, uh, but I'm using the name uh, of someone, the most common name uh, of this person. I, I'm happy to accept uh, this ex explanation, Maître but um, I will also be able 
to verify Mais what the prosecution is saying. So, um, where exactly is Ram born? In which document? And so that I can follow uh, what the international court prosecutor is saying. Let me just take two minutes then to, to uh, put on the record the various references to this person um, so it's clear. Um, uh, first, uh, in this uh, the document E34164, um, she is again, um, as I've said, identified as a 27-year-old female from Kache village, I may not be pronouncing this correctly, uh, a medic from Hospital 22 uh, who was implicated in the responses of Hong and Kong. On, in document E34145, the first page, again, uh, there is a person uh, identified uh, with Uch Han. Uh, in this one, uh, the name is translated as Vorn Sanu, uh, again a 27-year-old female medic from Kache, from Hospital 22, who is indicated as someone who was implicated uh, by Hong. In document D. 157.7. Uh, this is a notebook from Krang Tachan. At Khmer 00270874. English 00866433234. French 00872808. Um, are contain the notes of the uh, interrogation of a Vorn Saroon, 26-year-old female from Kache village who worked at Hospital 22. And there is also a reference at, uh, to a rune uh, in the document that I was about to uh, question the witness about. Um, so, um, to, to respond to counsel too, uh, it is very common, particularly with spellings of names, for there to be differences in tra translations. Um, uh, we, are, uh, we will certainly follow your directive with respect to significant things. I don't think that we would be able to notify CMS every time there is a difference in how names were translated or spelled. So I hope I can proceed to, at this point with the next document, which is D-157-13. Uh, Mr. President, with your leave, I'd like to submit this document to the witness. Si vous m'y autorisez, Monsieur le Président, j'aimerais que ce document soit remis au témoin. President, you may proceed. Le Président, je vous en prie. Mr. Witness, um, uh, the document uh, I've just handed you Monsieur is a témoin, notebook, le document uh, and it contains um, uh, notes of the interrogation of a cadre from Hospital 22 named Hun Hong. You'll find that reference at Khmer 00270827. Through 29, English 01. 06-4174 through 76, French 00-971-285 through 288. And the prisoner lists that I just showed you uh, indicated that Uch Han had been implicated by two people, Kong, who you've already identified, 
but also by someone named Hong. And I'd like you to look at these pages uh, that relate to this Hun Hong person. Uh, and first of all, uh, tell me, do you remember a cadre named Hong who worked at Hospital 22? <coughs> Answer. I do Réponse. not remember. I uh, do not recognize this individual. Pas, I never ne went nom. to uh, the, that hospital. Je ne me suis rendu I dans cet uh, knew that uh, there was the name Carl, and I never je saw this person Kong, personally. Mais je jamais connu cette personne personnellement. Now in Hong, Hong's notes, dans les notes de Hong, um, he refers to Kong as Achar Kong. Uh, did Kong you hear uh, the person Kong, who was the head of Hospital 22, referred to as Achar Kong? Achar Kong, qui est mentionné donc par le responsable Answer. de la prison de l'hôpital 22, pardon. I heard there was a person by the name Réponse. Kong, the chief of Hospital 22. I do Kong, not know whether there were more Kongs. And if you look at the uh, notes on the pages si I provided, um, there's a list of uh, 16 uh, cadres, 16 oui. hospital medics. And I'd just like you to take a quick look at those 16 names uh, who are identified as being medics or people who worked at various hospitals, including Trap Young Kul. And tell me if you remember or knew any of these people. So what are the names? I uh, cannot find those names. Je ne trouve pas ces noms. Où se trouve-t-il? I'm lost too, uh, Mr. President. Maître Copé, je suis perdu moi aussi, Monsieur le Président. Ask you to please give us the document number again. Pourriez-vous redonner les numéros ERN? Yes, it's the document, same document, uh, document D157.13. Uh, and if you look at Khmer page, uh, Khmer. should be 00270828 through 29, you'll see a list of 16 names. They're numbered. Uh, same thing in the English translation. Uh, it appears at 1064175 through 176, a list of 16 people. And the French uh, ERN range is, uh, these notes are in 00971285 through 88. You will find the same list of 16 people there. My question is simply for you to look at the names of the 16 uh, hospital medics or cadres and tell me if you knew uh, any of those people. I cannot read uh, the names because uh, it, the document is not clear to me. Fair enough. In your interview E3 slash 5511 at answer 21, you made the following statement about Kong. I think Kong was the chief of the Zone Hospital. He was arrested and executed by the Khmer Rouge, and Niri Han was arrested as she worked with Kong. And Do you remember uh, what year it was when it was that Kong was arrested? Answer. I do not remember the Réponse. year, the Je ne me day. Pas de ni de la date. 
Let me read to you uh, an excerpt from document E3 slash 2120. Uh, this is E3 2120. This is the book by Meng Tri E, The Chain of Terror. Uh, this is only in English at 00416443 through 416444. Uh, this is a report of an interview of a driver of Tamak. And the passage reads as follows, quote, One day in late 1976, after returning from Phnom Penh, Tamak called a member of the Southwest Zone Committee named Achar Kong to his house. After the two men talked for a moment, Tamak ordered his soldiers to arrest Achar Kong, place him in shackles, and put him in a car. Achar Kong's S-21 confession states that he had been arrested and sent to S-21 for interrogation on the 2nd of October 1976. Now, Mr. Witness, you uh, indicated in your OCIJ interviews at Monsieur one point Témoin, you stated that Kong had been arrested by Pol Pot and in the second excerpt I read you Pot, said he was arrested and executed by the Khmer Rouge. Um, my first question to you is how did you learn, from whom did you learn that Achar Kong had been arrested by Pol Pot? Answer. I heard from Réponse. a villager or people living near the hospital 22. People living, people lived around the hospital knew about that and they uh, told me. The last um, document and last questions Dernier I have for you. Uh, Mr. President, with your leave, I'd like Monsieur to provide si to the witness a copy of E3-1135. That's E3-1135, uh, which is a document 35. that relates to Achar Kang. President, you may proceed. Mr. Witness, the document that I've handed to you is a report uh, from the 19th of October 1976 from Mut. It discusses, um, it's a report regarding the wife of Achar Kong, who had been hospitalized in Division 164, uh, but who had disappeared. And there are a number of people who were identified uh, as her associates, uh, a man named Cheng and a man named Bon. And then there is a note uh, on this report dated the 20th of October addressed to Bang Nguyen that states, quote, now Achar Kong's wife has already left the division hospital to request to search for Cheng and Bon who are related to this matter, end of quote. My first question for you is, did you know uh, the wife of Achar Kong? Answer, I Réponse. do not know. I do pas. not know Kong face, and I only knew that he was the head of Hospital 22. Je, je did did you know whether there was a hospital in Kampan Som, and whether cadres or si people from the southwest zone sometimes went to that hospital? Answer, I Réponse. was not aware of it. Non, je pas au and my last question is Une simply question. relates to the two 
uh, people associated with Acha Kong's wife uh, who are identified in this document, that is the uh, men named Cheng and Bon. Um, do either of those names ring a bell to you? Did, did you know who either of they were? Answer. For the two individuals, I did not know them. Thank you very much, Mr. Witness, for Question bearing Merci with me today beaucoup, with uh, a lot of documents. Merci I appreciate your time, uh, Mr. President. Uh, I have no further questions. Mr. President, a request for clarification on the, not the last document Une and also not the uh, Menkra's book, but the document before. Uh, the list non pas le dernier document ni le livre, I, I, le proche qui a été we cité. Able, all of us here, Nous n'avons pas pu so suivre tout ce qui avait été dit concernant le document précédent. So Est-ce que l'accusation um, aurait l'obligeance de bien vouloir citer à nouveau les ERN I assume you're looking at, want to look at the English pages. L'accusation, vous voulez voir les pages en anglais, j'imagine. Il s'agit. Um, Zero one zero six zero six four one seven five and zero one zero six four one seven six of document D one fifty seven point one three. Uh, there is a section that starts on one page, continues on the next. The first um, the list of sixteen starts with these words. Uh, the associates who joined the traitorous activities with the contemptible Kong and whom he always promoted or sent for technical classes are as follows. And then there is a list of 16 people. Just, just for the record, uh, Mr. President, the reason why we couldn't follow Maître is Copé. that it seems that the old translation said that the document was intelligible and that a new document was um, added to the case file. That's what I'm getting in the back. Document. I don't know if that's correct. Uh, Alors, just for the si if it's not, please, uh, I stand corrected. <coughs> je sais pas. Si je me trompe, pas à me le dire. We listed this document on the interface. I just printed it out from Xilab, so I, I have no idea why why you cannot, uh, why you would not be able to access it. It's on Xilab. President, actually, the document is uh, on the case file, and Le the National Council, please try to locate that document, at least uh, in the Khmer language. Ce document, au moins dans la version I think you need to manage uh, within uh, your own team, try to locate the relevant de documents. Équipe, uh, si vous pouvez trouver les documents the Chamber would like now to hand the floor to the lead co lawyers for civil parties to put questions to uh, these witnesses. You may proceed. Lawyer for civil parties. Des parties civiles à la parole. Thank you. Some group. And good afternoon to your honors and everyone. My name is Rajin T, the civil uh, lawyer for civil, the lawyer for civil parties. And good afternoon, Mr. Witness. Monsieur le témoin, bonjour. I'd like to put some questions uh, to you. Je souhaite vous poser un certain nombre and de questions. the first uh, mm -hmm. subject is in relation to your uh, roles and uh, positions. J'aimerais vous interroger sur le rôle when que you les fonctions attended the two study sessions, aux deux séances d'études. That is the two medical uh, trainings, uh, and one of which you engage in the uh, human anatomy. Vous avez dit qu que vous avez été formé en anatomie humaine. Did you only study this topic in theory, or was there actually a, a, a hand-on practice on live uh, human beings? Des cours de pratique sur des êtres humains vivants. Answer. Actually, we only studied it. Uh, in theory, that is on paper with no live nous subject. N'avions pas de sujet vivant. Nous n'avons fait qu'une étude théorique. 
question Sur papier. in that uh, study session. Question. Pendant How cette many uh, participants formation, for each of the two uh, sessions that you attended? Étiez-vous à y participer, chacune des deux formations? Answer. Réponse. There were medics uh, from the uh, communes. Il Actually, there were 12 uh, medic communes and there were 12, uh, uh, rather two district uh, medics. De 12 et deux médecins de district. Question. And the trainer, where did the trainer formateur? come from? And please uh, tell the name if you can recall si uh, the name. Et si vous comment s'appelait-il? Answer. Sai was the trainer, and actually Sai was chief of the Sai sector hospital. Il était responsable de l'hôpital de secteur. Question. Question. While you worked at the hospital, you stated that uh, there were many uh, patients. Vous avez dit qu'à l'époque où vous travaillez à l'hôpital, il y avait de nombreux patients. Daily basis, there were Et que almost 100 jours, male and female patients. Sans patients, hommes et femmes confondus, venaient How many à l'hôpital. Actually, uh, medical staff were there together in the hospital. I Combien do not want you to refer to the support staff as you stated this morning. Answer. The medical staff who could uh, engage in uh, treatment, there were two. Medics. Il y avait deux médecins In addition qui to myself, le personnel that, uh, soignant, for the, le médecin uh, qui pouvait administrer des médicaments et des traitements, for the, uh, male medics, and there were about five qui female des medics. Il y avait également cinq femmes. When I talk about the number of patients who soignantes. came for the treatment, they were actually not in-house patients. Traiter, uh, they just came uh, to ask for medicines and then they uh, left. Des médicaments et ensuite and for the uh, women's section, there were more than 100 Pour patients a day. Femmes, il y avait plus de 100 patients However, par they jour. would come to acquire Elles venaient uh, the medicines and then they left. They were not in the patients. Et ensuite repartaient. Elles ne restaient pas et ne séjournaient pas à l'hôpital. Question. Question. And the medicines for the treatment of those patients et les médicaments pour were the medicines uh, traditional or uh, modern? De and who actually supplied you modernes. with the Qui medicines? De l'approvisionnement en médicaments. Qui vous ravitaillait en médicaments? Answer. Question. Uh, I'd like to uh, talk about the uh, traditional medicines. I had a few staff. S'agissant who tried to locate uh, herbal medicines for the treatment of the our patients. And we also had a few uh, female medics uh, engaged in traditional uh, medicine. We tried to actually cook our own medicine. That's for uh, uh, the juice within uh, the hospital. Question. The Question. main point that I'd like to ask you uh, is the following. How effective was that medicine? Ce que j'essaie de savoir, c'est dans quelle mesure ces médicaments étaient efficaces, And ces remèdes uh, it étaient varied. efficaces. Réponse. The ça dépendait. in-house medicines that we produce Les médicaments que nous produisions nous-mêmes. Sometimes uh, it produces a good result, for example, it, for the treatment of diarrhea, but in other cases uh, it didn't work, so we had Mais to supply the patient with a, a modern il medicine. Alors aux des we actually had a few in house medicines nous avions uh, for the treatment of the patients, and besides that, we have uh, some uh, vitamins B1, B12, etc. Supplied to us, qui nous était and uh, of course, uh, 
be the latter was more effective for the treatment. Bien sûr, uh, ces derniers médicaments, donc les médicaments modernes, étaient plus efficaces en termes de Question. traitement. Question. Question. What was your observation on the children who might have been sent for the treatment at your hospital? Were there many Qu children? Qu'avez-vous constaté s'agissant des enfants envoyés à votre hôpital? Answer. Y avait-il par exemple de nombreux there enfants envoyés à votre hôpital? There were many children who would come to the hospital uh, to ask for medicine for the treatment of a headache or diarrhea. Or and in fact, those the children, they came from collecting cow dung uh, from the nearby villages. And usually they would uh, come to ask for a medicine for a headache. There were about five to ten of them every day. Question. The diseases that you uh, treated, Question. as you stated, uh, include uh, the dysentery and the maladies, la uh, swelling uh, nature of the, 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 sim the illness. Were the patients fully treated? Were, was there a relapse, or did some of them die due to the lack of medicine? Answer for the patients who, whose body was swelling or who had dysentery. Des patients they came for the treatment, and of course, not all of them could be fully treated. While they Bien were sûr, there, we would provide them with cooked rice, and in, in addition to the medicine that we provided, and uh, they would stay for five to ten days, et, et and then they recovered jours, and left. And if et they, their symptom could not be improved within these five si, to ten days period, I would refer them, jours, refer, refer them to the uh, sector hospital, and in other cases, uh, they died. Question, were many patients Question. dead? Answer, toward the later regime of the uh, Khmer Rouge, Des Khmer Rouge, that is about one or two months before the, the collapse of the regime, many, many patients died. Avant du de and morts. every day we had to dig a pit to recover those jours, uh, patients who died. Maybe 10 to 20 pits uh, every day. Morts. Question. Did you know the uh, real cause of the so many deaths toward the later part of the regime? Savez-vous pourquoi il y a une augmentation du nombre de décès vers yes. la fin du régime? Réponse: Oui. Because initially we were provided with 25 to 50 cans of rice. Parce départ, on nous 25 uh, for à 50 the hospital, but uh, toward the Later part of the uh, regime, pour, uh, we ensuite, were not given that rice, so we did not have anything to feed uh, the patients. Plus de quoi nourrir les patients and sometimes we had to ask the people nearby to, to go and get the rice uh, for supplying to our patients. But by the time we received those uh, uh, supplies, it was the time that we had to flee already. Le temps que nous Question. Le temps de recevoir While ces you were at that hospital, de fuir. did you uh, receive any pregnant women who uh, went Pendant there for treatment? À l'hôpital, avez-vous reçu des femmes Answer, enceintes yes, qui étaient venues se faire traiter? Réponse, they oui. They came rather frequently. Elles venaient relativement fréquemment. Uh, sometimes uh, we would receive them two or three months uh, in a month. On les uh, deux sometimes fois those par uh, women they delivered uh, their babies at the base. Parfois, elles we also had uh, à la base. five or six uh, uh, midwives 
prove her uh, exp prove her skillful in delivering the baby, and I myself also have uh, expertise in this area. Question on the uh, technique of uh, baby delivery and the issue of a uh, baby delivery. Question. Were any babies died during the uh, delivery? Des enfants Question no, while uh, they were at the hospital. Réponse. There was no such non, case. Pas quand ils à However, on other uh, uh, instances, Toutefois, dans the, cas, the mothers uh, survived, but il est que la mère survive, a baby died during the delivery. And sometimes we have to uh, engage in cesarean operation to rescue the baby or to use a uh, suction cup. Question, I'd like to move on to another subject. Question. You talked about uh, the conference that you attended uh, where you vous heard instructions uh, regarding the purchase. Who, uh, who actually uh, called uh, people to attend uh, the, the, the conference and who actually chaired uh, that conference? La conference? Answer. That uh, conference Réponse. were chaired by the district uh, uh, committee through the district, district uh, office uh, people there. And I did not know how many participants uh, were called by the district committee, committee but I uh, observed Mais that uh, some communities were called while others were not. Convoqué, Question. After uh, you received uh, that instruction, question. Et quand vous avez reçu who cette was instruction? responsible for the implementation of Dans that suite, instruction? Qui était responsable de l'exécution? Answer. Consigne. In fact, it was people in the leadership. Réponse. En fait, who had to implement uh, that instruction, that is, group chiefs, uh, unit chiefs, village chiefs, community chiefs, etc. C'était eux qui étaient chargés de l'exécution des consignes. Question. Did you yourself engage in the implementation of Question. that instruction? Et avez -vous appliqué ces consignes? Answer. Réponse. The only thing that I experienced was that my uncle and my elder brother-in-law were taken away. In fact, uh, in, regards to, in regards to my other brother-in-law, I didn't witness uh, it to myself, but my wife came to, to tell me about it, and when I ran home, he had already uh, left. Question. In response to a question on the letter by the district committee, en that is in regards to a former uh, major, au sujet ancien... and you stated that the person Major had already been uh, sent. Can you tell the court uh, what happened uh, later on? To this uh, former major. Answer. I am afraid that uh, that uh, soldier uh, died that night. 
Je he pense que cette personne really lied to me, and while he was uh, in my hospital, he told me that he was a former major. major en anglais, ou and en français. next day, I saw a letter Ensuite, from the district uh, secretary that uh, he was looking for this major from Rumchang commune and that he had to be sent back to his uh, base. Le à la base, à sa base. And I knew that uh, that would be a problem uh, Alors, su que for ce him. Un problème pour lui. Then I wrote a letter in response and sent it by a messenger that I had sent uh, that patient back home three days ago. Déjà trois jours auparavant and ce I chez told lui. him, the patient, to get on a horse cart devait monter sur une which was uh, being used to transport the food supply in Rumchang village, which was village uh, Rumchang, his uh, village. Qui était son village. So, He actually got on that Et horse cart and went to his uh, village. Est ainsi il est rentré dans son village. The uh, reason that I'm afraid that he died because since that day I je did not uh, receive any news from mort, him. Parce que par la and suite, je uh, reçu uh, he was actually a mandant. good person and une bonne personne. unfortunately I did not learn of his name at that time. Malheureusement, je pas connu ou appris son nom à cette époque. Question. So, uh, in your account, Question. that a major got on a Donc, horse cart and uh, disappeared. Sur une et a disparu. And in your document, E3 slash 55511, in question answer uh, number 12, you You talked about the commune committee, du comité de la and commune. there were three people in that Vous committee. Que le comité de la commune and était composé de a trois little bit further down, you also réponse. stated that a member of the a committee was a policeman who policiers. was in charge of uh, making arrest of uh, people. My question to you is uh, the Ma following. Does it mean Cela veut -il dire one of the three uh, uh, people within the committee was in charge of uh, the military, that is, who was in charge of uh, making arrest of people? Is that uh, what you mean? De la militaire, -à -dire les gens. Là ce que vous Answer. Entendez par cette réponse? The three members of the committee had different duties. Réponse. The Chacun deputy er, chief of the, or the deputy uh, chief of the uh, uh, committee was uh, performing a policeman role, that is, engaging in making arrest. C'est-à-dire qu'il était chargé d'arrêter les gens. Question. You stated that uh, you were sent uh, to Question. spray insecticide insecticide at the Kantachan prison. Vous avez dit que How vous many of you actually went uh, to that prison? De à la prison de à combien de reprises Question. Vous êtes, uh, vous the answer, rather, Kringtachan. there were five of us, including myself. Et combien étiez-vous Réponse. Nous étions cinq. Question. How far Question. was the prison from the hospital where you worked de où vous and so uh, the distance was uh, about six to seven Il kilometers. Six à sept kilometers de distance. Question. Upon your arrival, Question. you engage in uh, spraying the insecticide et lorsque vous êtes arrivé and 
vous vous êtes Actually, upon à your observation, can you à tell the court uh, what kinds uh, or how many types of insects were there at the hospital at the uh, prison? Combien de types d'insectes il y avait dans la prison? Answer. In fact, it was not the prison chief who requested me to go there. It was the district committee or district secretary who sent me to to spread insecticide at the uh, forest or bushes uh, near the area in order to prevent malaria. Du site afin de prévenir ou de lutter contre le paludisme. Question. When you were spraying, uh, spraying insecticide around the prison compound uh, and upon your observation, how many prison, prison buildings uh, did you see? Que vous avez pu voir ou observer combien de bâtiments y avait-il sur le site? Réponse. I saw three big buildings and two small buildings. The big buildings, they were big in size and long in length. Les grands bâtiments étaient grands en taille et longs. This is my last question to you. Question. Voici When à you arrived question. at the prison, lorsque vous êtes arrivé à la prison, did you learn of any information about the prisoners who were detained there or that whether those prisoners uh, were tortured? Savez-vous si par exemple ces prisonniers étaient torturés? Answer. Réponse. No, I was not uh, I did not know uh, whether the uh, prisoners were tortured. Non, because when I was there, I did si not uh, see any interrogation or, or any torture uh, site. However, we were prohibited uh, not to uh, go to a certain area that is to the uh, south part of uh, the compound. Question. Did you see a building in that uh, prohibited area? Question est dans cette zone interdite, avez-vous vu un Answer. quelconque bâtiment It was a small uh, Réponse, building. It was about five meters, meters by six meters. meters sur six. But that's for, from my personal estimate, since I was a bit far from that building. Question: Did you feel or any bad smell while you were around in that area? Avez-vous senti une odeur nauséabonde? Lorsque vous étiez Answer. No, there was no foul smell because I think non, if, even if there was any smell, it would be overwhelmed by the smell of the insecticide. De toute façon, nous n'aurions pas pu because la sentir à cause de l'odeur de l'insecticide. Because each of us had to spray a bucket of that uh, insecticide, and after we finished it, we returned. Lawyer, uh, Mr. President, I don't have any further questions, and Mr. Witness, thank you. Monsieur le Président, je n'ai pas d'autres questions. Monsieur Président, je vous remercie. Councillor Victor Coupé, do you have the floor? Président, Maître Coupé, vous avez la parole. Yes, Mr. President, I do apologize to revisit this document issue again because there is something strange going on with this document. Il semble qu'il y ait quelque chose de très étrange avec ce document. What we have in the paper version is D157.13, and it says here this handwriting document is illegible, so there is no translation. Um, one would expect that there is a uh, corrected document of uh, 157.3, uh, uh, but we cannot find such a correction. So, because we cannot find a correction, we were basing ourselves upon uh, this D157.13, which says this handwriting document is illegible. So, um, if we go to Zylab, we see that there is a creation date still at 6 May 2010. So, what it looks like is that this document has been um, recently translated without any notification. Um, 
sans aucune Which seems notification. Odd, um, in the light of the fact that it is indeed a very étrange, difficult uh, to read document in the original Khmer. So, uh, my point is to indicate that we are not unorganized, but there is something uh, strange going on with this particular document. So we need to know uh, what the situation is. We were indeed able to immediately take this off Zylab, but this is a new version of D157.13, apparently recently translated, uh, which of course begs the question why the translators were now able to translate and weren't before, but that's another issue. But I think I'm raising this point now to ask clarification as to what happened with this specific document. President, the deputy co-prosecutor, co you have the floor. I think that's a question he should direct to, 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 to CMS. Uh, this, I mean, he wasted I don't know how much time because he had an old version of this before the, the English, uh, English translation had been posted. I can't answer why uh, someone uh, from CMS um, I thought this document was legible. Um, the French translation has clearly been on the case file for a while. You can tell, um, well, you can tell from the document numbers when, roughly when, the, when these documents were posted. But this is a question he can raise with, uh, uh, with, the, with the translators. And um, sometimes uh, my understanding is uh, translators are sent a copy uh, that, that is not a good copy, and they're able to go back uh, and get a better copy. Um, but I'm not the right person to answer, answer this question. You can, you can correspond with CMS. All I can tell you is that uh, this document has been in Xylab for a long time since I started preparing for this witness we weeks ago. That's all I can tell you. I, I understand um, what the prosecutor is saying, but if we do not get notified of an English translation, then of course we are working on the assumption that this document is uh, in unintelligible. Maybe it's translated from the French version. Um, I don't know, but again, uh, we're not quite sure what's going on with these documents, but I, I think we need clarification. And just one more point, that's what the interface is for. We posted this document on the interface. If you looked at the interface and link, clicked on this document, you would have got it. No, you would not have got that if you clicked on the interface, I, I guarantee you. President, thank you for raising uh, this matter. Je vous remercie d'avoir soulevé cette question. The chamber thing, uh, it is appropriate for Council Coupe to make a request to ITU for clarification since you are the one who initiated this issue. À l'unité de traduction et d'interprétation puisque c'est vous-même qui aviez so that ITU can clarify this matter once and for all. À l'unité de traduction et d'interprétation, de faire toute la lumière sur the cette problématique. The hearing pour today toutes. comes to its adjournment, and we uh, will resume tomorrow. That is Wednesday, 18 March 2015, commencing from 9 o'clock in the morning. Tomorrow. The Chamber will continue to hear the remainder of the testimony of this witness, Mr. Riel Son. This information is for the concerned parties and for the public. And Mr. Riel Son, we thank you for your testimony. However, it is not yet concluded. Thus, you are invited by the Chamber to return tomorrow, starting from 9 o'clock in the morning. You may now return to your uh, residence. And court officer, in collaboration Monsieur with Wisu, please make necessary transportation of Mr. Wilson to his residence. 
and invite him to return to this courtroom tomorrow morning before 9 o'clock. And the chamber also is grateful of the duty council, Mr. Oudpari. And you are again invited to return Monsieur tomorrow to assist uh, the witness real son. And it will commence from 9 o'clock in the morning. Security personnel, you are instructed to take the two accused, Nunji and Kisampon, back to the detention facility and have them return to participate in the proceedings tomorrow morning prior to 9 o'clock. The court is now adjourned.